I've honestly had way too much fun with this and so I wanted to share it with you but basically so on my other YouTube channel you can see I have in the description these really short links so zerm.io slash template so my main channel is Zermelo. So I, <laughs> I bought the domain name Zerm.io, which was kind of expensive, but it's really short. And so I can create these really cool short uh, domain names. And I've just been having way too much fun with this. So again, I'm going to show you how to do it in case you want to have as much fun as I'm having. So obviously on the back end, come over here. I'll just drop them in here. So this is the link that I want to change. So this is a template or project file that I sell on my website, but this is a long link and I just want it to be really short and I want it to basically like one of the big things here is I want the link to kind of reflect what the product is going to be none of this really reflects that I mean this does right kind of Zermelo music but not like this so for example they're going to get free samples so it's zamp samples and then what sample pack so I don't know <laughs> if this actually creates more clicks that's cool. I haven't actually tested it, but if you have something like TubeBuddy, you can run A-B split tests on the metadata, whatever, on, on the back end there, and you can actually see if uh, these links get generate more clicks. I'm doing it because it's just a lot of fun, and it's just like one of the tech things that I understand, so I'm going to show it to you. So without further ado, let's get into the client area for my hosting. I just buy all my domains on A2 Hosting. Uh, Miles Beckler is a YouTuber who I followed for a long time. And when I started doing this, he said he used A2. So now I use A2. So there could be other ones, but this is what I use. We're going to go to cPanel. You probably have cPanel on your end too. So I'm going to click the cPanel login. Uh, we need to create a subdomain that we want to point over to the, um, there we go. We, we need to create a subdomain. So I'm going to create, uh, you can see that I'm selling a project file. So I'm going to do project.zerm.io slash whatever the name of the project is. So I need to create a subdomain on the back end of my hosting. So we're going to come over here and I'm going to go to the zone editor. This is probably going to be a very similar process for you. Right here, zerm.io, this is what I want to change. And so um, I'm going to go to manage. And by the way, the the um, link shortener service or whatever that I use is uh, Linkly. And so they have directions right here. So if you come over to, uh, I think it's settings, custom domains, this is where I'm going to need to end up anyway because I'm going to have to add the domain here. But they have, um, I want to attach a subdomain to my Linkly account. That's exactly what's going on here. And they have directions. It's very, very simple. So you can see I need to go into the DNS settings, which is exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to the zone editor. I need to add a C name. So here in the zone editor, I'm just going to click add record. There we go. And we're going to do a C name. And for the valid uh, zone name, I'm just going to type in project because that's what I want the subdomain to be. And then for the fully qualified domain name, I need to choose the uh, domains.linklyhq.com because that's what they say right here. Okay, let me just make sure and add a value, value domains. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to do save record. Okay, now it's going to take a little bit of time to propagate. Usually it takes about 10 to 15 minutes for the internet world to recognize that um, domain and so let me just show you how you can check to see if it's ready so if you go to dnschecker.org I can type that in so I'm going to go to project.zerm.io and we're going to go ahead and check actually this month okay so it's not ready and so I'm going to pause the video and we'll wait till that is ready to go so a couple minutes later and uh, still waiting but I just want to show you down here, there is a green check mark. So Australia is recognizing my new subdomain right now. So that's very exciting. <laughs> and we'll come back when this is ready to go and we see a bunch of green check marks. Uh, by the way, the reason why I'm even waiting for this is because when I come over to Linkly to tell them about the domain, then um, here I'm going to have to click on Add a Domain. In order for uh, Linkly to recognize the domain, it needs to propagate. It needs to see it. And until um, more green check marks show up here, then Linkly's not going to see it. So that's why I even have to wait for this in uh, the meantime. All right. So 
See you in a second. So it looks like we're getting a lot more green checks here. Um, it's picking up on the right domain. So I'm going to come back over to Linkly and just see if this works. So I'm going to do project.zerm.io and we're going to click on uh, add domain here and domain added. And so now what's going to happen is it's going to generate an SSL certificate. So that way, if someone went to a project, let me show you. If we open up an incognito project.zerm.io, it would say something like someone's trying to steal your information. See, so it says not secure, for example. And so what we've done really quick is um, just created a subdomain in our backend, and then we've now pointed that to Linkly. And that's pretty much it. So the only thing that's left to do is to create a link inside of Linkly that points to the specific product that I want to link to. I'll come back when we're going to do that. All right. We see that we now have an active SSL certificate in Linkly. What I want to do is just go to links and I'll go to new link. And the destination is going to be this, what I was talking about here. And so this checkout. Okay. And I'm going to call this. So I'm going to give this a nickname. And I have to think of a kind of a uh, naming convention. So I'm going to do template um, synthetic. And I'm going to say from YouTube. Okay. And then I'm going to come over to the custom domain URL. And I'm going to select the right domain, which is going to be project.zerm.io. And then we need to do synthetic. And I'm going to hit, and uh, I'm just going to fill out some notes here. So this is when people click from YouTube to uh, check out the synthetic, um, oh my gosh, template. <laughs> Third time is not a charm here. All right, so we'll go ahead and hit save link. And I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to hit command shift N to get an incognito. I just want to see if this takes me right to the right page and there we go so it takes them right to the correct page so now I can come back over to the back end here and just to show you look at how much nicer this is right now another thing is if I come over to this video you'll see that it, this link gets cut off and so I just like the fact that if I hit save here so if I come back over to this video and I'm gonna mute it boom okay there we go. That's what I wanted to show you. It doesn't get cut off. It's just nice, right? Get the project file, project, short little URL, kind of branded, Zerm, Zermelo, and then uh, synthetic. And so that's it. I can come back over here, delete, save, and that's it. I've got a nice little custom URL. And as you saw, I have created so many custom domains, so I've been having way too much fun with this, definitely procrastinating on other things. But if you want to check out Linkly, I'll put an affiliate link down below. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.